Okay, to find the perimeter of this shape. Well, how do you find perimeter? Well, you have to add all of the sides together. Now, there's a problem with that because we have this side, we have this side, we have this side, and we have this side. But we don't have some of the other sides. We're missing them. So we need to find them. So uh, let's take a look at what uh, what sides are the same as each other because it's a rectangle, remember. So first one I see here is this one. This is 11. Now is there any other sides on this shape that is also 11? Well, this one over here because it's the same side. So that's also 11. So we can fill in 11 there for that. What else? <clears throat> this is 21 down here. Where else is also 21? Well, this is also 21 because it's the opposite side. So they're the same. So we can fill in 21 for this one. Now, what else are we missing? This is the hard bit now coming up. We're missing, let's get a different color uh, highlighter for this. <clears throat> we're missing this side and we're missing this side. Okay, we're missing those two sides. Now, the, those two sides are the same as each other. Okay, they're the same as each other. So, how can we get it? Well, just like the other questions we did yesterday, if you look up along here, all of this is 42. All of it. So, all of this here would also be 42. Now, we don't want all of this here because we're missing a bit, aren't we? We only want what it is from here and then from here to here. These two bits. Now, we know all of it is 42, but we want to remove, okay, take away this bit. Because it's not part of it. And we actually know how long this bit is. We know how long it is from there to there. It's 12. See the way it's 12 here? That means it's 12 here. So these two bits must be 42 without this 12. So if we get our 42 and we take away the 12, we're left with 30. That means that when you add this and this together, these two bits here, this and this together, it adds up to 30. So that must mean they're 15 each. Because 15 and 15 is 30. Now we can get the perimeter. Okay. Remember to get the perimeter you can add all the sides together. So we have to go through it very very slowly. We'll start up here. 42 plus 11. I always circle them when I'm doing them so that I don't forget that I've done them. 15 21, 12, 21, 15, and 11. Type it all into the calculator, and whatever you get is the answer. You don't say centimeter squared because it's not area, it's just perimeter. Okay?